Here in Australia, guys, residents here said a big F you. They literally gave the finger. They gave the finger straight to fossil fuels. Australians installed more solar panels in the month of November than in any other month in Australian history. But it's not only the number of panels installed. It's the size of the systems. In November, the average solar panel installation was 10 kilowatts. 10. I mean, it used to be around 5. That's, this means that within the space of about a year, the size of installations has doubled here in Australia. Why are people doing this? Well, for one, they're basically saying, we don't want coal. We want a clean future. We want electric cars. We want renewable energy. And we want to shut down those goddamn coal plants, and we're going to do it no matter what. And that's pretty much what Australians are saying. But at the same time, the price of solar panels has dropped significantly, and that is most certainly happening and helping. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. As you can see, I'm pretty excited with this news. I've got to say a big pat on the back to you Australians that have done this and gone out and installed all this solar in the month of November, and not just November, but this year. It's an amazing result, an amazing achievement. And it means that, you know what? Often we say we've got a problem here and we complain and whine. A lot of Australians do this. We know this is a problem here in Australia that we whine about things a lot rather than actually acting. But these numbers prove that among renewable energy aficionados, among people who are just everyday Australians and also electric car owners, that is not the case. People are saying, you know what, rather than whining about something, I'm going to go fix it. I'm going to actually fix this problem. I'm going to create a better world. People are literally going out and just creating a better world, They're installing massive amounts of solar. This is really, really hurting coal. And I'm not just saying this. There is definitely proof that this is enormously hurting coal. Keep in mind what Tony Sieber and other experts said back in 2014 about coal power plants when they predicted that many of them would be shut down decades before people thought they would. He said that if they don't run at a minimum of 70% capacity, they lose money, a lot of money. And as a result of all this solar installed on Australian household roofs, coal power plants will be shut down early because they are so incredibly expensive to run. Reneweconomy.com.au reported this. They said that running coal power plants here in Australia, many of them are running at massive losses and costing taxpayers hundreds and hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars to keep them open. What all this means is that wind and solar output surged past 20 gigawatts for the first time on Australia's main grid, marking yet another milestone. This is a new record. According to data seen by the energy industry in Australia, the output of wind and solar, including rooftop solar, mounted on homes and businesses, broke the 20 gigawatt barrier or 20,000 megawatt milestone at 12.05 p.m. on Tuesday this week. Half an hour later, it peaked at 20,386 megawatts or 20.4 gigawatts. That shows that rooftop solar is having a huge impact on the grid by claiming a massive share of production, especially throughout the daytime when it's sunny. And what this meant is that at that time, wind and solar were providing 65% of the entire Australian electricity demand, 65%. In fact, there was, so much, there was so much energy going into the grid from wind and solar that some of it had to be turned off. So in theory, we should be using that extra power to charge EVs. And we will be eventually because so many mega battery packs are being installed. They're being announced almost every few days in Australia. There's so many being built and a lot of them will be used to charge EVs. You'll be able to charge your electric cars at very, very low prices. Or you can just go out and get your own solar panels and just do it yourself. Australia's main grid has averaged around 40% in renewable generation over the last 12 months. So around 40% of all power has come from renewables. But over the past few months, that has changed. We're looking at getting closer to 50%. The Australian government has set a target of 82% by 2030. So what, six years from now. From what I can see, it looks like we will actually get there earlier than that. Please, for the love of your money, do not invest in anything to do with coal power generation in Australia. 
it's going to lose you a lot of money if you do. Getting back to solar panels. In November, 330 megawatts of solar systems were installed. That smashed the previous record of 314 megawatts in December of 2020. The average system size increased again to 10 kilowatts, reflecting a huge push towards electrification, towards electric vehicles, and energy independence, being completely independent from the grid. This puts massive pressure on Australia's remaining coal generators and, of course, the gas industry said renew economy. In the past spring, rooftop solar set numerous records, eating into the midday market traditionally fired, traditionally coal-fired generators take the midday market, but they're losing that market big time and it's costing them huge amounts of money. This is boosting the case for battery storage and a rethink of energy market rules and regulations. Battery storage, for one, is being installed at an enormous record rate in Australia this year. In South Australia, rooftop solar output has more than equaled all of state demand on a number of occasions, meaning just rooftop solar on many days of the year in South Australia is all they need for their entire energy needs. It's the first city in the world to achieve that. But this is what much of the world can do because most of the world lives on the Sun Belt. The November rooftop solar total was 57 megawatts. That's 21% more than was installed in October and 17% ahead of volumes at the same time last year. So where are all these solar panels being installed? SunWiz says they're being installed in New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, and Tasmania. All states have trended upwards for the month with the Northern Territory and Tasmania charting exceptionally high growth rates of 86% and 50% respectively. But New South Wales still leads the country on total volume. Either way, guys, I've got to say congratulations to the Australian public because you're literally going to bankrupt coal power plants. They will have no choice but to shut down early. If this continues, the end is here for coal and it's come faster than anyone thought was possible. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.